Greetings folks, in this video we're going to be looking at some more of the latest gear from Radio Master. We have three little things to look at today. First off it's the T-Lite Radio version 2. Uh, so it's in the same range as the T8 and the T8 Pro. This is the light version which is a fair bit different to the other ones. We'll talk more about that in the video. We have a nice little zip up case which will fit the little radio nicely. A little bit too small for the TX16S. And we also have the WT01 um, wireless trainer dongle and uh, simulator dongle. Interesting piece of kit. So let's have a closer look. First up, let's have a look at the little case. It's just a nice small size zip up case, sort of hard shell and, and three adjustable compartments where you can fit your radio in there fits nicely as I said a little bit too small for the TX16S I think it's not deep enough um, you'd have to squeeze it shut but anyway that's a nice little case Ex room for extra gear as well and now let's have a look at the Radio Master T8 Lite version 2 that's important now it's the, it's the bottom of the T8 range. It's really designed for ready to fly quads and plug and play planes. Uh, there's, it's not compatible with OpenTX Companion, so you can't plug it into your PC or Mac and configure it. It's sort of preset, just uh, eight channel, aileron channel one, elevator channel two, throttle channel three, rather channel four. And then we also have uh, switches on the top which are all assigned to channels five, six, seven, and eight. Two position, two position, three position, and three position. Little speaker on the bottom. Uh, we have uh, what on the T8 and the T8 Pro would be the external module bay there, uh, but that doesn't. This one doesn't take external modules. We have a bind button there. We have the little nice little finger rests there that actually work very nicely with your fingers sitting on there and on the top we have trainer port and USB-C there is an SD card slot there but uh, it doesn't take SD card so don't put one in there USB-C charging has an internal battery a thousand milliamp 3.7 volts uh, with USB charging and uh, battery level indicators on the front there let's turn it on actually let's put a switch out of position so that tells us the battery level there, 100%, uh, and I've got a switch out of position, they should all be back, so it's giving me the warning, and now it uh, turns green and stops beeping. The RF chip is the CC2500. You don't get access, you don't get full access to the CC2500, I believe, uh, so this radio will bind to D8 and D16 version 1 protocols, and I think the SFH SS Futaba protocol possibly. It's a little bit confusing because uh, there's a T8 Lite, there's a T8 Lite version 2 and the T8 and the T8 Pro. They all come in the same box um, and uh, we don't have the T8 Lite specs on the back so you can see all these protocols here uh, but that's not relevant for the T8 Lite version 2. So we've got version 2 mode 2 sticker on there and that's just a sticker there. Simple packing, just the uh, plastic cover there. No cables or anything like that. We do get the little manual there. And again, this is the T8 Lite manual, not the version 2, so it's missing out a little bit of information, although they have put some stickers in to um, kind of update it. Got some stickers in here telling you you can do gimbal calibration. Tells you how to do that. Uh, and you can change modes too, although uh, it says... Uh, with the transmitter on, hold the two sticks down to the left, press the power button and the beeper will beep, indicating mode two is selected, and down to the left, indicating mode two is selected. So that's gotta be mode one. And if you actually look at the, the Chinese one, we've got uh, mode two and mode one there. So a bit of a typo there. This bottom one should be mode one. But this is the mode, mode two version. 218 grams. Uh, it says protocol options D8, but we know it's D16 as well because I've actually bound to some D16 uh, receivers, and I'll show you that in a minute. Range greater than a kilometre uh, and up to eight channels. Now it's nice and cheap. It's about uh, under 40 bucks US. 
uh, and I'm sure this will come with the uh, bind and fly quads and uh, ready to fly planes. Much nicer transmitter than you usually get with the uh, little ready to fly planes, that's for sure. So now let's look at binding. Radio Master R161, which is SBUS D16 version 1 protocol, and the RX6R FR Sky, which is also D16 protocol. So let's bind them up. Uh, first off, we'll go with the FR Sky. So with the radio switched on, we push the bind button. And we get that beep, 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 which means it's trying to bind in D8 mode. If we push it again, we get the double beep, double beep, double beep. That means it's, it's trying to bind in D16 mode. So, hold the little button down, apply power. And we get the red flashing and the green light, so that's telling us that that is bound. So we'll just cycle the power. Green light, we've bound successfully with an RX6R. Now let's try the Radio Master R161. Just work out where I'm going to plug it in, that one there. Okay. Flight power to my flight control board. Once again, get it into bind mode. Hold the button down. Red flashing light and green. Cycle the power, same thing. And we've got the green LED, so both of those are bound now. So that's two D16 version 1 protocol. Uh, receivers. I don't have a D8 handy at the moment, so I can't really demonstrate that. This is just to show that without any extra setup, you can just plug it into your to your Mac, uh, probably PC, and use it as a uh, USB uh, game controller or SIM controller. This is FPV Free Rider. Uh, I'm no quad pilot, but it shows that it does work. First off, I'll show how the uh, WT01 wireless dongle works as uh, a servo checker, a standalone servo checker. So we'll turn the radio on. First, we've got to bind it to the radio. Put the dongle into bind mode, push and hold until it starts flashing quickly, like that. Then we push the bind button on the radio. Oh, that's not there. Yeah, there we go. When it starts flashing quickly, like bound. So that's good. So then we turn it off. Turn it on again. Solid lights and it's bound. So now we'll show how it works as a servo checker. There we go, so the orientation is uh, ground up, signal down. That's in channel, what is it, channel one, and that's the aileron. Let's put it in channel four. That'll be the rudder, there we go. Now I should be demonstrating this on a TX16S of course, but I, as I said, that's in deep storage, so we're gonna to have to use the uh, Tyrannus, but it's all the same. So the idea is you bind the dongle to the student's radio and you put, uh, plug it into the um, instructor's radio. And we need this adapter cable there, so that is plugged in. Now as long as it's bound, that's fine, that's all you need to do. Let's turn the dongle on. So that is on, it's bound to the student radio plugged into the uh, instructor radio and we go to uh, long press go to the trainer setup there we go you set up your set up your four channels uh, how they're going to act and I'm doing just uh, re the motors replace 100% and choose which channel add on elevator throttle rudder that's all set up now 
and we need to set the trainer mode to master and jack and we need to set up a switch to activate the trainer and I have chosen SA in the middle position you choose trainer sticks and make sure the little box is ticked so that's all ready to go now so this is uh, normal control of the plane by the instructor flick the trainer switch and now yeah, the student has control so that all works as it says on the box very very useful so there you go there's another collection of interesting new gear from radio master radio master t8 Lite version 2 the WT-01 wireless trainer dongle and standalone servo tester and the little case as well. Great stuff. Thanks for watching.